Tonight, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Angeles Rams taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. On the return, it's Simba Webster. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Rams taking the field and leading the way. The man from Cal, the former number one overall pick, Jared Goff. There's a toughness about Jared Goff that maybe he doesn't get enough credit for. His freshman year at Cal, team went 1-11. His rookie year with the Rams, he was 0-7 as a starter. Undaunted in either case, and has come back each and every time to flash the ability that made him the number one overall pick in the draft when he came out of Cal. On first down, gone. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them in the rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. And for a second straight play, that Cowboy defense gets him to the ground behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. A shotgun snap for goal. Open man is Higby, the tight end. Maybe out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. 37-yard line. They'll run a draw now with Akers. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they're in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Throwing again on second down. Golf. That's taken in. Complete to Reynolds. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 21. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Well, it's a jet sweep. The football to Woods. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the Cowboys' 21-yard line. Here's a run with Akers on second down. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. The tackle made Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Makes it third and eight. Out of the gun. Golf. Right side complete. That's Woods. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. They'll run for it with Akers. And he's not going to get there. Sean McVay's gamble does not pay off. And this defense holds 
on the night's opening drive. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. I love his mobility, and I think he continues to get better and better as a pocket passer. But how about just his plain intangibles that he brings to the position? Mental toughness, as well as a physical presence that helps power any offense. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 13. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. This is Elliott. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Here's Elliott. And he's taken down inside the 30. Back-to-back -back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. yard line. A gain of 14. No score after one on EA Sports. here tonight well partner that was another explosive run and one thing I've learned in our time in this game yes the offensive line has to get a lot of credit but for big runs to occur the wide receivers have to block well downfield and then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too right oh without a doubt you need that difference maker lugging the rock now Greg Zerline on for the extra point and this is up and good to make it 7 nothing Cowboys. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. Touchdown, Extra point away from tying up this football game. Matt Gay on 
And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. And he's made it easy. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> he would have kissed hate? it on the ground. <laughs> Elliott. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally brought down at the 38. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses, those exact type of runs. And that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. On third down, it's Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They're more athletic now than ever before to about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their history. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target. And that'll make it third down. Third down and six yards to go. From the gun, here's gone. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Taking about the 16. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep everybody here. <laughs> Let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurt him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Third down. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. We remind 
remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Schultz. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. And the Cowboy first down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Incomplete. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. A three-yard pickup. And it's third. Prescott from the gun on third. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? On first and ten, gone. They'll get this one to cup complete. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. At the 11 stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Golf. This pass complete to Reynolds. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. First down L.A., Golf finding Reynolds there. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. To the air again, Golf. Open man, Higby, the tight end. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Now Goff on first down. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Goff on first down. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That's another Rams first down. Throwing again is Goff. Well, throw complete to Cam Akers. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it's a second down. Out of bounds at the 28-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Again, golf. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Neville Gallimore, what an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was Ezekiel Elliott who put together a solid first half. His guys lead, though by only a field goal, still anybody's game, as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The Cowboys will get the football first here. They have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll get 
this just up past the 20, but a marker is down. Let's get the call. Proceeding team. There you go. Got him in. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. With that field position after the return wasn't terrific, it's not a great starting field position as well. They'll run with Elliott. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. On the stop was Aaron Donald. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Throw left side complete. It's Elliott. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. And wow, a pretty pro bowler, Aaron Donald, gets the sack. That must be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. And he'll try and hurry the kick, gets it away, but it's not looking that great. And a limit of a kick there. This is going to be spotted down right on the 30-yard line. The 30-yard line. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room, and now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points. Give them 19 there as the drive marches forward. And 10 at the 11-yard line. Goff now looks to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Brings up second and two at the three-yard line. On second down now. Akers. And he's going to take this one in for the Rams. Touchdown. Cam Akers. His second touchdown of the night. And the Rams are going to jump back in front. Well, he's given them a little jolt. Just gave them the lead there. But two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. So now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now Elliott. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Aaron Donald. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. A give to Elliott. And some room to maneuver. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. A gain of 18 on the play. First down, Cowboys. Draw play, Elliott. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss there. Now third and 14. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Going up top. And that 
will be incomplete. He did a fine job there not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. And this is incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. On first down, it's gone. And incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. The throw over the middle, taken in. Touchdown, Allen! Cooper Cup, 44 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Gay is on for the point after. It's good, and it's 21-10. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Gay Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. First down, Dallas. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Now they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Prescott's throw going to be caught by Gallup and brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now Elliott. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, and this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? 
the timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play focus 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 watch it all the way in and tuck it away on the return comes Webster and the penalty markers down on the field and they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive they were trying to create some space to run they created the penalty and you work on it so much you work on it so hard but it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. That often runs you into a penalty. Well, here's a good way to kick off a drive. Complete over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. On first down, gone. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Complete to Cam Akers. For a second there, I thought that might break big. A screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Throw's going to be incomplete. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Goff throwing again. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Sean Lee, the longtime vet, getting in and getting to the QB. Now, I guess, partner, you call that a coverage sack. Oh, without a doubt, because where did he have to go with the football? I know everybody wants to get on him about, hey, get rid of the football. You had too much time in the pocket. But he's scanning the field. Nowhere to go. And that allowed the pressure ultimately get to him. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So Dak and the Cowboys. Down 21-16, 2.18 on the clock. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 23 yards, the final tally. Down, Cowboys. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a man open down the middle of the field and able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Nice, well-coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Prescott. And he finds his target, it's Schultz. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. And the Cowboy first down. Prescott to throw. Got his man there, complete to Gallup. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
Tackling's over. Tackling's obviously critical down near the goal line. That was great work there to make the hit behind the line and make sure he doesn't get any further. Did a really nice job wrapping up and not letting him loose. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Jim Jackson with the INT. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage loss, but gain a few extra. Well, as always, partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the meat buffet you made it to the end you didn't consume a single calorie i appreciate that what you missed is me going to the concession stand outside of your eyesight and getting it done cheated. that way look i mean they were serving the good stuff i had to do it oh man but you're, you're spelled in good shape but yeah you cheated a little bit we'll let it slide i appreciate that always a pleasure to work with you For Charles Davis and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Los Angeles.